relate. So today we're going to discuss uh, curve fitting, but for this one, this is a line uh, regression. Okay, so first of all, we have the set of data for uh, x and y. Uh, we have six uh, points in all, and we are required to determine the equation of this uh, line wherein we can fit this uh, data. So from our analytic geometry, what is the general equation for a line? That is, what is called mx plus a b, wherein m is the slope, a okay, b is the y at uh, intercept. So here we are, uh, we are to use, uh, say, y or equal to uh, f of x is uh, equal to, or we have ax plus b. So m is, or a is the same as the slope, y b is the same as the uh, y intercept. So we are using uh, this square. So let's have our uh, table. And for the value of x, the value of y, the product of x and y, and the value of x squared. So let's have uh, in the values. So this is 0. 0 0.5 right, this is 1 1.5 2 then right, 2.5 so these are the values of x then let's have the corresponding values of y so this is 0 1.5 right, this is 3 4.5 then this is a 6 then 7.5 then let's have the product of x and y. So 0 times 0, and this is a 0. 0 0.5 of 1.5, that is the same as 0 0.75. 1 times 3 is the same as 3. 1.5 times 4.5, what is the value? Okay, so you have 1.5 by 4.5 is equal to 6. Point, oh, this is 6 point 70, oh, 5. And we have 2 times 6, and this is 12. 2.5 times 7.5. We have 2.5 by 7.5 is equal to 18. And this is 18.75. And for our last column, we need the value of the x squared. So this is 0 squared. 0.5 squared is 0 0.25. 1 squared is the same as 1 1.5 1 squared is the same as 2.25 2 squared is oh, this is 4 2.5 2 squared is the same as uh, 6.25 So we have now the values per dollar So let's have the summation of these uh, values Okay, so we have for the summation of x Right, for the summation of x, this is 0.5 plus 1 plus 1.5 plus 2 plus 2.5. So this is the same as right, we have 7.5. Summation of y, 1.5 plus 3 plus 4.5 plus 6 plus 7.5. And we have the value 22.5. Right, summation of the product of x and y, we have 0.75 plus 3 plus 6.75 plus 12. Plus 18.75. So we have this is 41.25. Then, my right, last, the summation of x squared. We have 0.25 plus 1 plus 2.25 plus 4 plus 6.25. So this is why right, we have 13.75. Right, for linear regression, why right, we have the Okay, we have three equations of determining the value of uh, the values of a and uh, b. Okay, we have the first one that is we have the value of a multiplied by the summation of x squared plus. Okay, this is the value of b, the summation of x. This is equal to the summation of the product of x and uh, y. So this is the first equation. The second equation is we have a multiplied by the summation of x plus a uh, b. But by the number of points, right? the number of points given or the number of set of points given is equal to the summation of a y. So we have the values, this is the summation of x is equal to 7.5. The summation of a y is equal to, or we have 22.5. The summation of xy the summation of x, y is equal to 41.25 and the summation of x squared 
is equal to 13.75. Uh, if we are to complete our uh, two equations, we have a, or the same as one is x squared, that is 37.5 at uh, 13.75 a plus summation of x is 7.5. This is 7.5 of uh, 7.5 of b is equal to the summation of x times y. So if that is equal to 41.25. Uh, then we have okay, we have summation of x that is 7.5 of a plus n. How many entries or how many points do we have? So we have six points, or the number of n here is equal to uh, six. So this is the same as six times a b is equal to the summation of y. Summation of y is equal to uh, 22 by uh, 5. So as you can see, we have three equations to announce. How do we compute for the value of a and b? So we can do it by elimination. So for example, we are to multiply. Okay, how do we eliminate uh, b? So what is 7.5 divided by 6? Oh, that is 1.25. So we are to multiply the second equation by 1.25, then subtract the second equation from the first equation. So what is 13.75 uh, minus 1.25 of 7.5? So this is equal to 4.375 4 4 of uh, A. Then okay, 7.5 minus 1.25 of 6, that is uh, 0. Then equal to Alright, so this is uh, plus 0 equal to What is 41.25 41.25 minus 1.25 of 22.5 So that is equal to 13 This is 13.125 So if you have to divide both sides of the equation by 4.375 we can now have the value of I can now have the value of uh, A. So we have 13.125 divided by 4.375. Uh, so we have the value of A is equal to uh, the value of A is equal to 3. Okay, so since we have now the value of A, we can now compute for the value of B using any of the two equations. Okay, for example, I'll be using equation 1 or equation number 2. This is 7.5 of A plus 6 times B is equal to 22.5. So this is 7.5 plus the value of A, 3 plus 6 times B is equal to 22.5. So what is 22.5? We have 22.5 minus 3 times 7.5. Okay, so that is 0. So we have now 6 of B is equal to 22.5 minus this value is 0. So divided by 6 both sides, the value of B is basically equal to plus 0. So do we have now our equation? Or the function this is now equal to f of x is equal to, with the value of A, we have 3 times x plus the value of B. And the value of B is, here is plus 0. So therefore, this is the same as f of x simply equal to 3 times x. If we are to check okay, the accuracy of this equation or function, okay, for example, what is 3 times 0? That is 0. 3 times 1.5, that is the same as 1.5. 3 times 1 is 3. So this is, uh, okay, this function or this data will fit the function exactly. We have 0, error. But in most cases, when it comes to curve fitting, this is not always the uh, case. I, as you can see, I just use our basic algebra in computing the value of A and B. But if you are to use a matrix, like this. But if you are to use a matrix, this is a bit uh, inconvenient or not practical for a reason. This is a very long uh, solution. If we are to convert this one into a matrix, so this is the same as n, the summation of x, the summation of x, the summation of x squared, multiplied by the unknowns, a b and a, I will be equal to, I will be equal to, I 
the summation of y, then the summation of x, y. Okay? So, if you are to compute for the value of a and b using matrix or using ghost Jordan, okay? So, what is the value of n? We have 6. The summation of x, a while ago, is 7.5. The summation of x, 7.5. The summation of x squared is the value. The summation of x squared, I think this is the 13.75. Uh, Multiplied by the value of b and a is now equal to, uh, what is the summation of y? 22.5. The summation of x, y is uh, 41.25. So this is all right, your solution. Now to compute for the value of uh, B and A, uh, you need the value of the inverse of this matrix. So this is equal to uh, the inverse of uh, we have 6, 7.5, 7.5, this is 13.75 multiplied by the uh, this value, uh, matrix we have 22.5 and 41.25. So this is a very long procedure, but you will still have the value of A as 3 and the value of B is below as 0. So you may recall how to perform or how to determine the inverse of a given matrix. But by, by the way, this is our answer, the equivalent function that fits quite exactly for this data.